Legends, I hope you're all fantastic. We are checking out the War Party Overdrive and Distortion from Native Audio today. Native Audio are based in Ohio in the United States and are an indigenous owned and operated pedal company. The kind of focus is on minimalist pedal design and this one definitely is simple to understand. Three knobs, you've got tone, you've got a gain knob and a level control. I actually really like the way this pedal is finished. It's basically just kind of like a matte powder coated style finish on here. I really like the artwork and the design and the aesthetic that they've got going on. This is kind of billed as a dynamic touch sensitive amp like overdrive with a little bit of DNA from the Proco Rat in there. Now, I actually don't own a Rat or a Rat style overdrive, so I've been super keen to check this one out. Shout out to Mike and the team for sending this pedal over to me to demo. Let's just first hear it over a little jam track and then we'll hear some isolated tones. <laughs> So that's what it sounds like with plenty of grease and there's a really nice range of tones from kind of light drives to more saturated distortions and almost sort of fuzz-like tones in there. I'll strip all of that away and let you hear it with a clean sound. Pay special attention to just what I'm doing with the dynamics and articulation in my playing and also the impact of the tone control and then the way the overall level and drive controls interact with one another.
So that definitely lives up to the description. It is very touch sensitive in there. It's very, very dynamic. And I like that even with the gain all the way up, if you back off the volume control on the Strat and get that tone control in the sweet spot, you can actually clean it up kind of like an amp and it will retain lots of sparkly high end in there. And there's a nice range in there, like I said, kind of from just like lower gain overdrive style sounds into the big, big saturated stuff and then almost kind of fuzzy with the tone control down there. You can also use that level control to, I guess, hit the front end of the amp a little bit harder and combine it with a fuzz on there. There's a lot of textures in there. I like that. Let's hear it into something a little crunchier this time. And I really want to focus on this as a boost because I actually don't have a rat style or rat inspired pedal in my drive pedal collection. And I've got a lot of drive pedals now. And one thing that I've read a lot about is using that sort of pedal into like a crunchy Marshall style amp as a boost. So what I'm going to do is start with the level control of that one. I'm going to start with the drive all the way down. I'll find the sweet spot with the tone control and then just crank up the level. Let's hear the dry tone. This is a PRS Custom 24 with a Seymour Duncan Custom 5 bridge pickup. <laughs> Basically, with the tone control up above noon, it does start to get pretty nasty sounding. I kind of don't mind that. I think that would work really well with something like a dual rectifier or something like that. But for more of like a Marshall inspired thing, it gets a little bit much. And I like that with the gain and the level all the way up, you can play around with the tone control and you can kind of get some fuzzy doom tones out of this. The other thing that you will notice, and hopefully you've heard in the video, I've definitely noticed it anyway, is as soon as you kick the pedal on, there is quite a bit of cut in the low end, sort of no matter where you have the tone control or the drive control, which makes me think that, you know, 
yeah, it's an amp like overdrive, but it will work well in situations where you have amps with like an excess amount of low end in there. Just by kicking it on, there is this really nice roll off on there, which I think stops it from, you know, doing that farty distortion pedal thing that some pedals do. Also like that the tone control, even when it's cranked, yeah, it's probably a bit full on for me, but it's not that like ice pick frequency, you know, extreme high shelf control on there. It is pretty usable, you know, it just kind of comes down to what sort of taste you have on there. I tend to like it a little bit lower, but I can definitely think of situations with it cranked up and basically, you know, all knobs on full into a dirty amp and just absolutely raging. There's another setup that I've been playing around with this particular pedal. It's a little bit different though. Bass in a biamp style setup. I'm using the Layla P-Split to take my raw DI. One is going straight to my audio interface and is being cut as a clean DI with some compression. And then the other side is going to an SVT style amp sim. So you'll hear the blend between the sort of cleanish SVT and the clean DI, and then I'll kick the war party on top just for maximum filth on there. The advantage of this style setup is that you can blend between the super clean low end and then the sort of crusty, nasty top end. I think in general, this works pretty well with any pedal like this, which can give you a really nice upper mid range focus. Uh, let's just hear it on my old jazz bass. Let's just hear that very quickly with some drums. And of course, before we go, we have to hear this with my Boogie Mark IV on the lead channel. Let's just see what this does into an already absolutely raging high gain app. <laughs> that can get that definitely qualifies as a character tone it's crossing over into that sort of like hm2 fuzz weird realm when you layer it into something like the mark 4 anyway i'm going to leave it there that is the war party from native audio shout out to mike and the team 
sending this pedal over to me to demo for all of you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you'd like to check out more information about the pedal, it will be linked in the video description. You can also support my channel in a variety of different ways if you check the video description. If you want to join the Discord server and come and chat about all things guitars, that is also linked. There's a whole bunch of stuff in the video description. You should definitely check it out. And until next time, I hope you all have a fantastic day. Cheers for watching the video and I'll see you then.